So you got the Gigabyte B650 or Elite motherboard, and you're looking to update the BIOS on this. Came to the right spot, I'm gonna show you how to get that BIOS update on this motherboard in today's video. I got through this out for legal reasons. This is a how-to, this is to show you how to do it. I hold no responsibility if something happens to your motherboard while you try this, because there's, there is a risk that you can break your motherboard. Now with the disclaimer out of the way, whenever you're doing a BIOS update, you always wanna make sure that you ain't gonna lose power while doing this. This is the number one way that a motherboard will be bricked in this process is if you lose power it will brick your motherboard it will not be covered under warranty because it is something that you caused me personally i always hook mine up to a ups or an unruptable power supply that way i know my power ain't gonna be interrupted while i'm doing the bios update that's just something to keep in mind make sure you don't do this while it's thundering and lightning outside make sure you don't do this while you have a planned outage from your power company or anything like that in today's video i'm going to show you how to do this if the system is up and operational there is a q flash button on the back of this particular motherboard it makes it nice for future upgrades if you buy the motherboard later on and want to put in a newer processor that the buyers don't recognize you can always use that q flash button to upgrade the bios without cpu or ram in it but in today's video you have to be able to at least get into the bios to be able to get this bios updated and if you don't have the system built where you can get into windows you will need a second computer to be able to download the bios from the website from the gigabyte website to be able to do this process with all the legal stuff out of the way let's flip you over here and i'll show you how to get this bios updated all right all and then to get Get this going i've already got my usb flash drive put into the system we're here on the desktop and you go down here open your folder up mine is letter d usb drive d you need to right click go to format you want to do the whole thing you need is fat 32 is the default you need is a fat 32 this happens to be an eight gigabyte flash drive some people out there say it needs to be at least eight gigs to be able to get it into fat 32 format which it may vary when you do this format make sure there's nothing on the thumb drive that you need because it will erase everything on the thumb drive could you portion it out and create you another portion to do this you could but you may interfere with the process so i'd recommend just doing the whole thing if possible and then it'll take any files off the flash drive put someplace else temporarily while you do this if you have to but we're going to hit start we're going to reformat it and then you get your warning formatting where you erase all data on this disk to format this disk click ok to quit you click cancel i'm going to click ok there you go i took a just a couple of seconds because it ain't a very big drive it says format is complete and you close out of that if you open up the hard drive it's completely empty now okay then we're going to go to our search engine whatever you like if you like the google chrome or firefox or whatever you like me personally i use google i'm going to go down and google search i've already looked this up once you want to make sure you put in the exact motherboard name that's on your box mine is the gigabyte b650 or Elite af you want to go to the manufacturer's website so we want go to gigabyte.com and this will take you straight to the motherboard web page this is for the exact motherboard that i have in my system if you use this support button up here you will have to find your motherboard again but since we went directly to the web page for the motherboard we want to go over here to the support page i am running windows 10 i don't know if this really matters or not but i am running windows 10 64 bit on this system so i'm gonna put that in there go down to bios even though this is a new motherboard it's only been out a few months you've already got quite a few of them you got quite a few bios updates or updated versions of a bios for this particular motherboard come over here on the right hand side this will give you uh, what it fixes and uh, like if you go from F1 to F2B, it does do the checksum. It does the ages 1.0.0.1H. It improves memory compatibility, fixes NVIDIA GeForce 4090 PCE, PCIe down speed issues. And the latest one that we have so far is F3B, which is the checksum, updates the Aegis again, fixes NVIDIA, the slowdown for the 4090, adds memory voltage options over 1.435 volts after BIOS update. Um, it says after, uh, after BIOS update, please install one-click ECFW update from downloads, which will be back on this website under the utility section. It enhances the curve option range, adds GFX overclocking options, improve memory and PCIe device compatibility. Now, as more of these come available, there may be notes over here that says you need to update to this one. 
before you can update to the next one or whatever just make sure whatever these little notes would say over here underneath this that's what you follow say if you're on f1 and you have to go to f2 but you have to do f2b it'll be a note down here saying that you have to do this one before being able to do this one just make sure you watch that or later date on trying to do this we're going to go ahead and we're going to pick f3b we're going to download this going to come down here and open it okay when you hit the extract all button you want to browse you want to go down to the d drive which is my usb flash drive select this folder and extract it and let it extract all them files into the flash drive all right there's the flash drive opened up that's everything that it's put it onto the flash drive so we can close all this out there's different ways of getting into the bios you could always restart your computer keep tapping the delete key to get into your bios or you could do it the way i want to do it we're going to go down here we're going to go under settings we're going to go down under the security and update and you're going to go down to recovery you got this reset this pc or advanced start up hit this restart now button let it restart go down here to troubleshooting go to advanced options go into uefi form settings restart to change uefi formal settings it says restart you restart the computer all right and here we are we're inside the bios you can either hit f8 on your keyboard right down here or you can push this button that says q flash you want to click it you got update bios or save bios which you can tell up here in the corner it says bios version f1 so we're going from f1 all the way up to f3 i think it's the one we downloaded you want to update your bios it recognizes the flash drive you've only got one choice here for it to read and yes uh we did go up to f3b from f1 so you click this file if you don't click this file it won't do nothing so you want to make sure you click on this file when you get to this point if it says no file detected no file to readable there's a couple things that could cause this it could be the wrong buyers for your particular motherboard or it may be the flash drive itself you may need a different flash drive i don't know how to tell but some flash drives will let you do this and some will not some people say you need at least an eight gig flash drive to be able to do this i can't can't verify that if that's true or not i've used several, several different usb flash drives to do this myself and i've never had a problem with it but on a lot of my other videos showing you how to do this with other motherboards i get that question a lot that it says that it, there's no file detected or it can't read the file and it's usually because because of the flash drive that you're using or it could be the buyer's version ain't the right one for your particular motherboard you want to make sure whenever you type it in you type it in exactly as the name on the motherboard box says once you select that file you highlight it it does come in down here that way you know you got the right file selected you hit your arrow this bios is protected by a security flash system must restart to complete bios update process are you sure you want to update your bios yes and let it do its thing it's verifying the files and now it says ready to reboot so you need to reboot the computer it's it's updating the bios now and at this point you don't do nothing you just let it keep going as long as it takes it may take up to 20 30 minutes for it to update the bios in some cases it may not take as long it just all depends on the motherboard and what bios you're going up to i will skip some of this because it may take quite a while i will try to get a time for you all right guys there it's finished up it's going to reboot all right guys there we go and boot back into windows that was approximately about a four minute process so it wasn't too bad this time around i don't know if i showed it or not but the flash the screen did flash cry a few kind of times and came up with the splash screen then it restarted again it did that several times within the process so we'll go ahead and get back into the bios and make sure it's the right bios number we're gonna go down to start hit the power button we're gonna hit restart and then we're just going to start tapping the delete key. It says your BIOS has been reset. Please reconfigure your BIOS setup items if needed. Click OK. And there you go. Uh, it did disable the, X, X, the EXPO. is disabled now. So we need to re-able the EXPO. And as you can see up here in the top left hand corner. Where we are on BIOS version F3B. That is one way of updating your BIOS. You could also use the 
the simple Q flash or something like that they call it. It's the Q flash button that's on the motherboard if your computer ain't up and running. Which if I get enough requests, maybe I'll do uh, another video on this showing you how to use that button. That way if you don't have a CPU or RAM that's compatible with it in the future, you can still update your BIOS to accept newer processors that you're going to be able to be ran on this motherboard. But that's going to pretty well do it. Let me get reset up here and I will come up with the conclusions of the video for you. So that's the way you get the BIOS update on this motherboard. It is a pretty simple process, but I hope you found today's video helpful. There's some links in that description below that may interest you. Don't get the all that fun YouTube stuff on your way out of here. You all have a good day and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.